right, I'm working now. Okay, um, sorry about that if you uh, joined in before. Um, I don't think I was, uh, my, I think my uh, connection wasn't too good. So, um, just to welcome you to the session. Um, this is the lower back pain session every Tuesday with me, Jo. Uh, so we focus on core and glutes strengthening and lots of stretching and loosening off all their muscles. Um, so uh, this is the second week. Uh, thank you for joining us again if this is your second week and uh, if this is your first week then welcome to the ses session. I hope you enjoy it. Um, we'll do a little bit of safety first. So um, just follow the guidance on the PARS on the bus websites but make sure that you are having uh, a rest if you are in any pain or you find an, any discomfort. Uh, just bring your knees into your chest and just have a rest there. Um, I'll try and uh, adapt things so you'll work at uh, a different level so if you find it too difficult I'll try and make it a little bit easier for you um, and vice versa. There's no equipment today, I'm just using uh, the, um, the carpet in my house. Um, we are going to follow a similar routine to last week. We'll do a warm up, some glute and core strengthening um, work which will be the main the bulk part of the main part of the session uh, lots of stretching and loosening off so um, hopefully you'll enjoy it and you'll feel the benefits after the session okay so let's get started um, we'll start with thinking about your alignment first so drawing your belly button in towards your back relaxing your shoulders away from your ears and standing nice and tall um, your feet should be hip width apart so just make sure you've got a nice uh, wide stance and we'll start with some shoulder rolls rolling your shoulders forward so sinking your shoulder blades into your back down into your back sorry and then you're going to roll forwards lovely And then you're going to clasp your hands together, pushing out with your arms and take your chin to your chest. So feel that stretch in your top of your shoulders. And then hands on the lower part of your back, squeeze your elbows together. So think about drawing your shoulder blades together and relaxing your shoulders. Three, two, one. Let's go into some side bends now. So arms relaxed by your side. Drawing your belly button in towards your back. Take a nice deep breath in and breathe out. Float down to one side, up slowly. Nice deep breath in and breathe out. Same again. Who's that? Oh, hi Jane. <laughs> breathe in to prepare and breathe out to float down. One more. This time we're going to scoop up. Deep breath in, breathe out, drop down, scoop up, reach, change, breathe in, breathe in to prepare, breathe out, drop down, scoop up, reach, drop down. One more each way. So just loosen you up and warming you up, ready to do some exercise so your muscles are nice and warm. Who else is saying hello there? Oh, hi Niall. Okay, last one. Arms on your shoulders, uh, elbows, breathe in to prepare, breathe out to twist. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out to twist. So hips stay forward, you're working the waist. Again, breathe out to twist. Last one. Well done. So let's do some calf raises now, up onto your tiptoes and lower down slowly. Up onto your tiptoes and lower down slowly. <laughs> Hi Lucas. Up and out, up, hold and lower. Up, hold and lower. Last one. Up, hold and lower. This time we're going all the way up to the ceiling. Reaching up and lowering down. So up onto your tiptoes and lower. Two more. Up onto your tiptoes, hold it there and lower. Last one. 
up onto your tiptoes and lower down slowly. Okay, so feet a little bit wider apart now, so we're going into a sumo squat, okay? So you're going to sit back, knees out to the side, nice and tall, so feeling the stretch in your quads, and you're going to take your arms out to the side and stretch and reach. So feeling that stretch in your obliques. Three, two, one, back to centre, and over to the other side. Three, two, one, and hold it here. So just to get your muscles nice and warm, you're gonna feel the burn a little bit, we're gonna pulse here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly back up. Ooh, okay, well done. So walk your feet back in now. I'm gonna do a couple of roll downs now just to finish your warm up, stood up and then we're going to go down onto the floor. So, draw your belly button towards your back. Shoulder roll first, chin goes to your chest. Roll down slowly, make sure your knees are soft. Roll down slowly. Hold it when you feel pulled on the back of your legs. And roll up slowly. Chin stays into your chest, last thing to lift is your head. Let's do that again. So, draw your belly button towards your back, soften the knees. Shoulder roll, chin to your chest, roll down slowly. Can you still see me? Yeah. And roll up slowly, chin stays into your chest. Last thing to lift is your head. Good, rest there. So this is your last one. Uh, we'll go down onto, onto the floor now, okay? So we're gonna shoulder roll, uh, soften the knees, draw your belly button in, and we're gonna stay down and roll, uh, lower ourselves down onto the floor, okay? So shoulder roll first, chin goes to your chest, draw your belly button towards your back, roll all the way down, one vertebrae at a time, hold it at the bottom, three, two, one, and then you're going to go down onto your knees and lower yourself down onto the floor, okay? So you're gonna be lying on your back now. I'm just gonna take the camera down onto the floor. Okay, fantastic. So you're lying on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. So we're gonna start with slides today. So your hips and your ribs are drawing together slightly like a magnet and you're drawing that belly button in towards your back. Arm relaxed by your side and chin is slightly down towards your chest and you're lengthening through. So take a nice deep breath in and as you breathe out, you're just going to slide one leg across the floor. Deep breath in. And breathe out, you're going to slide the other leg across the floor. Who is that saying? Oh, thanks guys, thanks Sarah. <laughs> breathe in to prepare, breathe out to lengthen. Breathe in to prepare, breathing out to lengthen. Again. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out as you lengthen that leg. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out, lengthen. Okay. One more each way, breathe out. Keep that belly button drawn in. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out and lengthen. Good, bring your knees into your chest now and just have a rest there. So before we go on to uh, slides again, we're just going to take our arms out to the side and do a couple of knee rolls. So arms out to the side, keep that belly button drawn in towards your back, drop your knees over to one side, back to centre, drop over to the other side. Again, drop over. And drop over to the other side. That's it. Nice and smooth nice and relaxed okay well done so let's work on level two slides now so this time you're going to take your arms into the air palms facing each other nice deep breath in and breathe out so you're going to lengthen that leg and both your arms go back and back up together so a really good exercise to strengthen your core lengthen 
come back up together. So thinking about your breathing, breathe in to prepare, breathe out, lengthen, come back up as you breathe in and breathe out. So nice and slow and controlled, really focusing on drawing that belly button in towards your back as you breathe out to lengthen. We'll do one more each side. Last one, breathe out, lengthen. Okay, bring your knees into your chest, have a rest there. So next we're going to just hug one knee into your chest and lengthen the other leg across the floor. And we're gonna do some circles with this knee. That's it, so just nice big circles, maybe three or four one way, change direction, three or four the other way. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest there, changing leg. Lengthen, circles. Remember, don't forget to change direction. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's practice your tabletop now. So we did this last week. We'll just repeat it quickly before we move on to another exercise. So tabletops, when we float your leg up, so your hip is in line with your knee and your knee's in line with your foot. You shouldn't be able to see your sock. It should be hidden behind your knee. So we're drawing that belly button in towards your back. Hips and ribs drawing together. Breathe in to prepare and breathe out to float that leg up into tabletop. Hi Rick. Arms relaxed by your side. Okay, so again, let's really think about that breathing as we float the leg up to tabletop. So drawing that belly button in towards the back. Breathe in to prepare and breathe out to float up into tabletop. Good, let's just do a couple more of them. Really thinking about the core muscles. Make this your last one. Good, knees into your chest. So we'll go on to a hamstring stretch now, and then we'll just advance that tabletop and do some tabletop points. So we're going to hug one knee into your chest, lengthen the leg across the floor. This time we're taking the leg up towards the ceiling and we're grabbing hold of the back of the hamstring. Slight bend of the knee. Hold it there. If you want, you can just pulse, point and flex with your foot. Have a little bit more of a nerve stretch. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And rest there. Knee to your chest, lengthen, and change leg. Knee to your chest, lengthen. Grab hold of the back of the hamstring. Pulse here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax the foot. Just hold that stretch. Three, two, one. Okay. Right, so we said we'd do a uh, tabletop again, but this time tabletop points. So arms relaxed by your side, you're going to do both legs in tabletop now. So this is, should challenge you a little bit more. So draw that belly button in towards your back, hips and ribs drawing together like a magnet. Nice deep breath in, breathe out to float one leg up. Deep breath in and breathe out to float the other leg up. So this should be quite challenging already. Just holding that position as long as you're drawing that belly button in towards your back and feeling like your hips and ribs are drawing together like a magnet so you're gently imprinting your back onto the floor. Okay, from here you're just going to point one leg and then go back to tabletop. Point the other leg and then go back to tabletop. If this is too, easy, uh, too difficult, then you can do it with one leg on the floor like we did in week one last week. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, 
lose points, flat tabletop. Really, really concentrate on them core muscles, keeping that belly button drawn in. Five, four, we're going to have a rest after this. Three, two, and this is your last one. Hold your tabletop position. Good, float one leg down slowly and float the other leg down slowly. And bring your knees in towards your chest. So let's just do a stretch to loosen your glutes. So feet flat on the floor. And this time you're going to place your foot on your opposite knee. And you're going to push that knee away from you. If you can, uh, then you're going to lift that leg up and grab hold of the back of the hamstring just for that little bit more of a stretch there in your glute muscle. So you're thinking about pushing this knee away from you gently. Keeping hold there. Five, four, three, two, one. Slow down slowly and change leg. Pushing this knee away or lift up. Or if this is enough of a stretch for you, just hold it there. You don't have to lift up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Lower down slowly. Okay, let's do some scissors. So another um, exercise in tabletop, really focusing on the core muscles. They should be quite challenging. Um, we're drawing that belly button in towards the back again. Hips and ribs just gently drawing together like a magnet. Nice deep breath in, breathe out, float one leg up. Just going to switch now, scissors, and tap. 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 So the further you tap away, the harder the exercise will be. So just work at the level that suits you. If this is too difficult, then you can just do back to single leg, tabletop, as we did at the beginning or take a break and bring your knees into your chest. So try and breathe out to tap. We'll do five more. Five, stick with it. Four, really draw that belly button in. Number three. Number two, make this one your last one. One. Hold your table top, lower one leg down slowly. Float the other leg down slowly. Bring your knees into your chest. Just gonna do some knee rolls again before we move on. So arms out to the side, just dropping over. One side to the other. Just loosening off there. Still think about drawing that belly button in towards your back. Okay, let's do hundreds now. Arms relaxed by your side. So we did hundreds last week. I think we went to 50 last week. We're gonna to go to 60 today. So draw that belly button in towards your back. Breathe out, float up. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out to float up. So hundreds is just where we are. Pulsing our arms by our side. If this is too difficult with double leg and tabletop, just lower one leg down and pulse here, okay? So really drawing in. If you want to make it harder and challenge yourself today, lift your head up, bring your chin towards your chest, or just looking above your knees here. And just pulse here. Okay. So I'll go to 60. So try and keep up with my counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. We're going to slow it down. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Palms facing the ceiling, last 10, we're going to speed it up. 
51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. If you can, you're going to reach with your arms. Take your chin towards your chest. Take a nice deep breath in. And breathe out. Deep breath in. Breathe out. Last one. Deep breath in. And breathe out. Head goes down first. Arms lower down. Float one leg out of tabletop. Lower the other leg out of tabletop. And then bring your knees into your chest. Well done. Okay, so plenty of core exercise today. Getting everything nice and strong. We're going to move on to bridging now. Arms relaxed by your side. Drawing that belly button in towards your back. You're going to peel your back off the floor, keeping your hips nice and high. And they're going to roll down slowly. When you do this, I want you to think about squeezing your glute muscles, your bum muscles together to lift you up. Push with your heels. Hold at the top and lower down slowly. So we did bridging like this last week. Um, if you want to work a little bit harder today, you can do a single leg lift. Try not to tilt. So try and keep everything nice and still here. So hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Feet back together, lower down slowly. Again, lifting up. Take one leg off the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. And then go down with a double leg. So it's up to you. You can either just roll up nice and slowly and hold it at the top. Squeeze your glute muscles together. Push you up. Push up through your heels. And then lower down slowly. Or you can float up. Lengthen that leg. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, and then change leg, lift up, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and then lower down, whichever level suits you best. So really pushing through them heels, squeezing them glute muscles together, activating your glute muscles, and rolling down slowly one vertebrae at a time. Really good for strengthening your glutes and your back. Still think about drawing that belly button towards your back for this one. And make this one your last one. Well done. Bring your knees into your chest. So next exercise is the clamp. So we're going to roll onto our side. So really think about switching on your glute muscles again, really strengthening them bum muscles. So roll onto your side now. So still drawing your belly button in towards your back. Arm comes up, head relaxed on your arm. This arm in front here, just to stabilize everything. Um, nice triangle position. So hips stack nice and high towards the ceiling. Hips and knees, knees, feet, feet and glutes in a nice triangle position. So you can check that you're in the right position by just looking at your feet and making sure that they're in line with your bum. And then you're just going to lift and lower. So really thinking about squeezing them bum muscles and glute muscles as you do this. So really switching on, activating the glutes. Three, two, and one. So you're going to hover your feet off the floor now so feet stay together. If you can see my feet, yeah. And you're just lifting your feet off the floor, same again. Five, four, three, two, and one. And you're going to lift and kick, lift, kick, feet go together, knees go together. Lift, kick, feet, knees, lift, kick, feet, knees. So you can really be feeling this hurt around here right now. Should be starting to hurt a little bit. Make this your last one. And lower down slowly. Lengthen that leg on top. All the way up, all the way down with that leg straight. Try and have your toes facing the ceiling for this one. Here we go. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. And we're going to rest down there. I'm going to change sides. You can bring that knee in front, just to have a little rest if you want, and lengthen the leg underneath. So bringing the top knee up towards your chest, just to loosen off. And you can do a couple of pulses with the leg underneath. Okay, let's roll over and do the same on the other side. Okay. So just take your time. Head on your arm, still drawing that belly button in towards your back. Think about that nice triangle position and when you're ready, lift and lower. A few more. So really think about switching on that glute muscle there. Drawing in, so really activating the glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Hovering the feet off the floor. Same exercise again. So feet stay together, a couple of centimetres off the floor. Five, four, three, really think about that glute muscle. Two, one, well done. This time we're going to lift, kick, feet go together, knees go together. Lift, kick, feet, knees. Lift, kick, stick with it, feet, Knees, it should be feeling a little bit uncomfortable now, starting to get challenging. Lift, kick, feet, knees. Two more, lift, kick, feet, knees. One more, lift, kick, feet, knees. Lower down slowly, lengthen like on top, all the way up, all the way down. Toes facing the ceiling if you can. Good. Well done. Call it five, four, Three, two, one. Well done. Bring that knee in front, lengthen the leg underneath, couple of pulses with the leg underneath. Then we're going to roll onto our back and we're just going to do some back lifts. And we're nearly finished. We're on the home run now. Rest there. Okay, so rolling onto your front. So actually, we did back lifts last week, I think. So we'll do um, opposite onto leg lifts. So just Float your opposite arm to leg off the floor. So looking down onto your mat, onto the floor. Squeeze your glute muscles together. Working your hamstring, back of your thigh. Lift and lower. I'll count you down from 10, then you can have a rest. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, number two, and this is your last one. Whew, well done, rest there. Okay, last exercise today. We're going into four point kneeling. So take your hands to chest height, you're going to push yourself up. So your knees are in line with your hips and your feet are in line with your shoulders and we're just going to lift our opposite arm to leg. last one lowering down slowly okay into child pose arms out straight chin down towards your chest feel that nice stretch around your back place one arm on top of the place one hand on top of the other and then change over other arm on top of the other feet down into the floor okay um so well done everyone for this week um whether you do it live or you do it at home in your own time the main thing is you get it done um so well done and i will see you all next week thanks everyone